Did you ever want to make a custom Windows XP version? Well, you clicked on the right video. Stick around for that. Hi friends, today I'm here with another tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make your very own unofficial or a custom Windows XP version using Nlight. And without further ado, let's go. So for this purpose you obviously require a Windows XP ISO in anything. You require Nlight and in order to download Nlight I'll put the link in the description to download it. And if if you have a Windows XP ISO laying around then if you want to make your own custom lens then let's do this. So first of all you want to extract the content of the ISO to a folder and this also works with Surrey 2003 and 2000, which if you want to make custom versions of them, you can do that. And now I'm just going to wait for this thing to extract. Alright, so once we have the folder from the contents of the ISO, now we can open up Nlight. It may require some features that you may not have and you'll have to wait for that to install, but I have already installed them off camera. So here we have the supported operating system 2000, which is the server and the advanced server to Windows XP and server 2003 now now click on next now we are going to browse for the um, folder that we extracted or earlier and we have Windows XP professional language English United States service pack 3 version 5.1.2 2600.5512 path is on my desktop and the size is 177.70 megabytes. And now click on next. Click on next. And here we can integrate a service pack which is pretty nice but we have service pack free so we can't. We can integrate hold fixes, add-ons and update packs. We can integrate drivers if you want to install XP on modern hardware. I'm planning on doing a video on that. Let me know, guys, you want to see it. We can remove the components, which that's what I want to do. I want an unattended setup. Um, the options and tweaks. And you want to uh, create a bootable, a bootable ISO. Now, once you choose your users and preferences, click on Next. And now we can just remove the applications. I'm going to remove the uh, This is just your set preference that we I can I may speed it up a little bit. So we can just remove some games. I'm not gonna remove them. Let's just remove them just for the purpose of this video. We can remove these drivers, which I don't re really recommend you do. And also the hardware support, keyboards. I need to like uncheck all of the languages. I'm going to move the tablet PC. Oh, 
don't know if it's safe to remove these, but we'll see later. Now click on next. I already have put my product key. I want to skip the out of box experience. And the OEM pre install can be enabled. Owner network ID, the computer limit is going to be light. And the work group will just do work. Oops, so we don't have to put it. You know. We need to do it. The components. Display. We can do custom resolution, which is nice. Disable automatic updates because it, the servers are down anyway. You can default theme will just do the Windows XP style, and the color scheme will do the silver. And the fonts can be like I'm okay with that. Then we can put a product key so as well. The computer type will do automatic and click on next. Press any key to boot can be disabled. We can remove the duplicate files. We can remove the minimum system requirements for Windows XP. The setup look can be like okay. I can't change that. Once we've done everything, we can just start our process. Which we're going to say yes. And now we're just going to do everything. And this should be pretty quick. Now we need to click on next. And yes, I'm okay with that name. And yeah, that's really great. Click on make ISO and it's going to be Windows XP SST Lite and click on save. And this will just make our ISO for us. And this is 482 megabytes and this is 589, which I think is good. What do you think? And yeah, that was all for today's video. If this helped you, make sure to have like this video, subscribe and turn on the notifications. Watch these two videos I'm going to put up on the screen. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!